It's the final showdown against the unstoppable thermite. We found that even the most common fire stoppers like sand, baking soda, and water could not snuff it out. Time to see what happens when thermite meets steel. It isn't safe to create big explosions at a public park. So we're at the County Fire Training Center to experiment with thermite. Welcome to a rainy training grounds out here. Yes. Now, is this rain going to impact anything? Nope. The rain is fine. Thermite is very, very hot, and it will work in the rain. Did you cue that rain? I cued it. <laughs> First up, steel. Made of iron and carbon, steel is prized as a construction material because of its hardness and durability. It has a melting point of 2,750 degrees. But remember, thermite burns at over 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So, let's see what happens to this steel hood of a car when we light 30 pounds of thermite on top of it. Trying to control something that you can't extinguish it out with just water, it's kind of scary, and I'm kind of nervous to see what's going to happen. Hey, you guys look like a couple baked potatoes. We're about to get as toasty as a baked potato in a minute. Ooh. Let's do this! Oh, oh wow. Man. Oh, okay. oh, no. That's crazy. Looks like lava. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. There it is, there. pouring right out the bottom. In just 15 seconds, thermite melts a hole straight through the hood, incinerating the steel. Wow. I'd say that worked. Around the area where it burned through is still about 900 degrees. It's a solid steel, so it takes a couple of thousand degrees to get through. It's just an impressive display of chemistry. It's also impressive that the clay pot and concrete don't melt. That's because as the reaction occurs, hot molten metal pours out of the hole, taking the heat with it. Also, since the mix is ignited in the middle of the pot, the thermite next to the clay pot is the last to light and protects the pot from the heat until the last moment. 